Hey, what's up? This is Dan. And this is Mike from Disturbed, and you're watching Mulat Shag. The only TV show you really need. Your logo has symbols of different beliefs combined. What do you want to tell us with this? Well, with the belief symbol, it was just an idea of trying to show unity of different religions kind of brought together. And uh, that was just basically the, the gist of the whole thing. We wanted to kind of... Um, that's been pretty much our fan base throughout the years to all different walks of life and that continues to show different ages different races different religions different beliefs so we just wanted to kind of bring that together symbolizing unity tell us about the guy the guy the guy was just something that uh, organically continue to grow for us. It was something that started out a basic uh, little smiley, sinister smile that uh, originally his Mikey's nephew kind of coined him as the guy uh, for us. Uh, it was just something we were using as a trademark for the band. We were putting on our merchandise when we were just this local band playing small neighborhood bars. And then when we realized that people were, our fans then were getting it tattooed on them and it was pretty overwhelming to think that they'd go that far when we're just a small band that doesn't even have an album out. Uh, it just continued to grow and we wanted to take that, that character and develop him over the years and let him evolve as well as the band evolving and it's just something that uh, happened kind of accidentally that it, that it ended up being such a big trademark for us. And do you think, um, will he get a movie? Will, will he get a movie? Yeah, the guy, <laughs> sometimes. I don't, know. I don't know about that. A, mo a movie, I don't know. He's, already, he's been in the video. Yeah. He's been in the Land of Confusion yeah. video, and I think that's probably, that's probably as, as far as his acting career will go for right now. <laughs> How was it working with cartoonist Todd McFarlane? Uh, it was great. I mean, we've only had, uh, um, when we came up with the, the album title for 10,000 Fist, and we knew kind of the image we wanted to put on there and have that guy e evolve into a m more of a character than, than just the, the face that it was off the first record, uh, we thought we would go to one of the, the top names in the business of doing that. And, and, we got in touch with Todd McFarlane, and, and he was all about doing it. And uh, we just had our people call his people and said, "Hey, we're we're a fan of your work, and this is what we're looking for. Would you be interested?" And he said, "Send me some music," and he he listened to the music, and he was all over it. He did a great job of of making a great album cover of, like I said, having a. The di kind of di diverse crowd that we have of, of showing that on the album cover of of people of different skin color, different races and, and religions on there, and kind of showing that that bond that music has with different types of people. I know he had previously done a uh, a cover for the band Corn in the, in the past few years earlier, and and. Uh I just thought it was a great marriage. His, his artistic uh, uh, talent was what we were looking for. You guys played in Kuwait. Ever thought of playing in Baghdad as well? Um, it was almost going to happen as far as us going to Baghdad to at least meet some of the troops and maybe do a signing in that. Uh, at the time that we went to Kuwait though I think things were a little too rough to go in, into Baghdad so we couldn't do it this time around. We were about 12 miles from the border of Iraq and, and we stayed at Camp Uring which uh, is the the troops last stop 
uh, of training of their last two weeks of training before they go into Baghdad. So I think that's as close as the Department of Defense was willing to allow us to get uh, to be safe enough. It was still a little frightening flying into it because not knowing what to expect flying directly over Baghdad to go to Kuwait City and land. But uh, it was a great experience. I think a huge highlight in our careers to be able to spend a few days with the with the fighting men and women and and uh, just bring them a little bit of home to them and, and have them an opportunity, give them an opportunity to uh, escape for a couple hours and kind of forget about what their reality has been and let them have a chance to just kind of rock out and, and enjoy themselves. Yes, I Can you imagine a disturbed show on the moon? <laughs> you know, you never know. You never know. We like to go as many places as possible and visit new new places and new people and, and earn new fans. Um, make it, I guess if they start having some fans up on the moon, then maybe we'll have to go see them there. No!